Hello, and welcome back to Liferay DXP's Back End Building Blocks course. In this module, we'll be covering application, localization, and styling. Some key module takeaways are we are going to understand the processes of localizing and internationalizing Liferay DXP applications. We're also going to learn the methods by which CSS and JavaScript resources are added to applications within Liferay DXP. A few exercise prerequisites before we get started. Uh, you'll need to have Java JDK installed to run Liferay DXP, which you can download at the link below. You're going to need to have uh, Liferay Developer Studio or a similar IDE installed with the Gradebook Workspace project already created. And this was done in some of our previous training modules. You're also going to need the exercise prerequisite files placed within the Gradebook workspace. And these are files that were altered in the previous training module. Just a reminder, our Gradebook application that we're creating is going to consist of a course gradebook with the following features. Teachers can create assignments. Students can send submissions to assignments. Teachers can then grade those submissions. And the submissions should be localizable. The relevant KPIs for this module are going to be expanding your application's adoption via localization and increasing usability through styling. Now we're going to be covering adding localization resources. So before we begin, we'll be going over some terminology that I'll be using in this module. Starting off with internationalization. Internationalization is the process of designing an application so that it isn't hardwired to only a single language. It's not really about localizing, but it's about creating a preferable design pattern for any user interface centric application. Even if you don't intend to have your application support multiple languages, internationalization lets you create a loose coupling between display messages and business logic making the application overall more manageable. Now localization is simply adding support for a specific language. Now, there are two big concepts within internationalization, and those are language keys and language resource bundles. Uh, language keys are unique string identifiers for the display messages. The same keys can be reused in the code as many times as you want. Think of them as shortcuts to get our application to display certain messages. Uh, now the key to display term mapping is done in the language.properties files. And it's good to know that parametrization is also supported with language keys. As a good practice, you should use describing keys like a submit-form to improve code readability. We want to make sure that these language keys tie very closely into what the message that they're associated with is. Language files contain a list of key value pairs for a single language. The default language.properties is typically generated by module templates. And in general, you'll want a file for each supported language. Their default location is within the content folder inside resources, main, in your source folder. And they should use UTF-8 encoding. Now in practice, that means the language file naming syntax should be as follows. Language underscore the appropriate language code dot properties, where language code is the ISO 639-1 standard language code with the ISO 639-1 language code and ISO 3166 country code separated by an underscore. For example, a language.properties file for all the English variants would be language underscore en dot properties and one for specifically US English would be language underscore en underscore US dot properties. In order to use the language files, portlets and other components have to be made aware of the available resource bundles. In the case of portlets, this is done by defining the javax.portlet.resource-bundle component property, 
when using Liferay DXP's portlet module templates, default resources and component properties are created automatically. And you want to keep in mind that UI tag libs fall back to the portal bundle if a portlet bundle is not found. So now for some practical examples. First, we have a portlet component and the javax.portlet.resource-bundle property. Notice that the value of the property is actually pointing to the language.properties file. The language file then contains a list of key value pairs for a specific language, and display messages are referenced by their respective keys. In this example, it's going to be using a liferay tag library. So you can see within the JSP, we're using the liferay-ui tag library with the keys hello stranger and my favorite dogs are x and x. When using tag libs, notice that when a matching language key is not found in the portlet language file, the lookup falls back to the portal resource bundle. If the value is not found, then the key itself will be shown. You can see these are the keys that we've referenced within our language.properties file itself. You can see that hello stranger corresponds to the message hello stranger, whereas my favorite dogs are x and x is in reference to a message my favorite dogs are, in this case, zero and one, referring to different inputs. And finally, the output of all that code we just looked at, which is, hello stranger, my favorite dogs are Ryder and Marshall, for example. Now, when localizing portlet names, we want to follow the following pattern, javax.portlet.portletNameField.portletID equals translation, where the portlet name field can be something like a description, a display name, perhaps some keywords, or a short title, or a title. Now, accessing the localization resources in a Java class required loading the resource bundle manually. The target property of the resource bundle loader reference is used to filter the resource. In modular OSGI design, a single module is self-contained and usually contains all the resources it needs. However, in a multi-module application, you'll sometimes want to either centralize all localization resources in a dedicated module or let modules access localization resources from each other. Uh, this can be done using the target property in the resource bundle loader reference and by using the liferay-aggregate-resource-bundles BND instruction. Uh, finally, we'll just go ahead and re-summarize the concept of internationalization. Just remember that internationalization is not just about localization, but it also forms a design pattern for creating a loose coupling between display terms and the code, as well as creating more manageable user interfaces.